How many floors does this house have? Doesn't matter, it's haunted. It could have as many floors as it feels like having. Hey, the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! <laughs> What's up, rascals? Welcome back to Layers of Fear. Last episode, we found dead flamingos on a painting. So, shapeless dreams and a photo album, which is apparently going to stay there. Did I see this already? I did. Yes. Okay. So, anyway, moving on. More spookage and exploring the hallways and the house and things flying at me for no good reason. And, ooh, an, an elevator? Ooh, this must be a fancy house to have an elevator in it, and I don't like elevators, so why am I in here? Because uh, that's the only thing to do in this room. So, up or down? Does it matter? Try it. Oh, wait, that's right. These things won't go unless you shut the door. Can I not? Should I just leave? Nope. Can't leave. Gotta do it this way. Okay, there we go, finally. Okay. I had to fight the damn thing. Not cool. All right, now we go going up. All right, all right. Elevators going up and... Hi! Where, who were you? Uh, past catches up. And what else? How many floors does this house have? Doesn't matter, it's haunted. It could have as many floors as it feels like having. All right, all right, destination reached, and uh, let's get on through. All right, okay, so, door locked. What about vase? Just a vase. Okay, door locked. Door locked. Of course, the end of the hall, everything's locked. What was the point of that? Ah, to lead me here, so that when I turn around and go back, things of spookage will happen, or one of the doors will open itself, leading me to more spookage. And that looks like Abraham Lincoln. Why is there a collapsed woman on the floor in front of him? And thank you for key. What's this? Dear sir, while I can certainly understand that you are upset and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically say that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleague at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your own opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will... I've never seen that word before in my life, and I'm going to butcher it. Ameliorate the situation. I can certainly understand you have been under a lot of stress as of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any future correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife, William H. Green, M.D. So did my beautiful wife suffer burns or something? No. 
Hello? What's this? Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Okay. Oh, don't make me beg. Oh, that sounds adorable. That sounds like... Oh, Kidoki, what's going on with this painting? That kind of resembles that photograph that we found earlier. Or it did. It's gone old. It's gone messy. It's gone nasty. And nothing in there. So what's the point of this? Nothing. I don't know. Next room. There's no next room. What the hell happened here? The, the hallway shifted again. That's what happened here. Next. Nope. What about... Ooh. You? Okay. Here's where the key went. Hilo. Books. Okay. Books. Books everywhere. Okay. 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 What about this? Is this a closet of some sort? No. Oh. That looks like light from a fire. Yeah. Oh dear. I'm gonna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna step there, cause that looks like I'll just crash right into the hellfire pit and. I hear a demon baby. Ooh! Hi. Well, found the demon baby. Turned into a puddle of splorch. What happens if I go back through here? Is this door closed and locked for good now? Yep. Okay. I missed an opportunity again, but I'm kind of glad I missed it. Because Hellfire does not seem to be uh, something I want to be getting myself into. And, uh, hello, rat. Goodbye, rat. Anything you need in here? Any pictures? Anything of a note to read? Yes. Warning signs. The following list is a compilation of the most common symptoms of schizophrenia. While typically diagnosed between the ages of 15 and 25, this disorder is known to affect older patients as well. Note that these symptoms are not exclusive to schizophrenia and should by no means be treated as conclusive evidence of their particular affliction. In order to obtain a proper diagnosis, you should contact a qualified specialist, i.e. a psychologist or, psychi or psychiatrist. Blank expression. Stares off into space? Yes. Involuntary facial movements? Yes. Insomnia? Haven't noticed. Unusual gestures or postures? Always had that. Unable to experience joy from activities. Definitely. Depersonalization. What does that even mean? That is a good question, but I think... I, th I think it means that you just, like, dissociate from things that you would take personally. I don't know. I have no idea, and don't take my word for it, so... Aha. Awkward, clumsy movement. Might be from the accident. Prone to anger, resentment. More passive-aggressive. Lack of motivation? Yes. Suicidal tendencies? What? Okay. So, it's like a... A checklist or something going on. Trying to see if somebody is the schizo. Make up your mind. Okay. Have we been in there before? Less messy? Probably not. A lot of the props are all over the place and reused, so it's hard to tell. Is this where I came in from? Probably not. What's with the shadow? Hello? Hello, Busty. Nothing in here. Okadoki. Ooh. Why do we have a f portrait of the Krampus? Any nifty photographs to add to our little scrapbook? Maybe. Find the little joys in life. 
It's the deer again. Hello, deer. Come through here, Mabe. And... Ooh, what the... What was that? Oh. The deer head fell down. What? Do that again. Do it again. I want to see it. Is there something behind it? Nope. Something on the wall. No. What in the holy hoo-ha? Now I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. I'm not stuck. But that was definitely kind of kooky, wacky, scary. And, uh... What the hell? Ooh. Okay. What about this door? What may I find in here? A clock? I like old grandfather clocks. They're kind of neat. What's in here? Anything nifty that might help me out? Any clues? Anything to read? No? Okay. What might I find in here? Ooh, what's the scribbling on the wall? It's all backwards. It cannot be undone. Can it not? Oh, this is a mirror and I just stepped right through it like it's the frickin' Matrix. Oh. Oh my. That explains why everything was backwards on the wall. But which is the real world and which is the mirror world? That is the question. Can I step back through? No. Kind of glad, though. That is... Distorted and evil and nasty and gross and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But, uh... Moving on. A book of matches. Spin the globe. Ooh, nice bright light. Yeah, it's a portrait of a poochums. What? Did we have a dog? Hello? Oh! Dead doggy! What happened to poor dead doggy? Did I just go completely evil and ape? Probably. More whispering. More whispering all over the place. They're talking behind my back. I cannot stand it. Ugh. Anyway. You want this as well? What? No! I want those sunglasses though. They look kind of neat. Um, what's going to pop out at me now? We're gonna find out. Hi. Whoa. What did you do that for? Uh huh. Hello, General Washington. A little bit overdressed, I think. You know what? I'm just going to go straight down this hallway, see what happens. Whoa. Hi. Can I close the door? That's not an option. I'm a little afraid to turn around right now, because I have a feeling that I'm going to turn around, and something's going to be right there. Intense music will swell, and I will be jumping out of my skin. Which is kind of ironic, because the artist flays skin off for a canvas. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one, foo! Well, not quite what I was expecting. Will this one jump at me? Probably something's gonna jump at me. Yup! Hi! 
<laughs> oh, holy hoofa. <laughs> oh, man. As See you later. Okay, uh as ironically the rats are the least terrifying thing in here, but they come around so often and why is this wheelchair melted to the floor? I don't know. I could probably open that door. I could probably open that door. I could probably go down the hall and open that door. Which way do I want to go? I don't know. But, we're going to have to make a decision quick. Or we could probably make the decision next episode. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching this one. If you liked it, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below, let me know how I'm doing. And if you're new to my channel, take a look at some of the other videos that I've done. And maybe consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.